I so look forward to being with you at the gathering of the Orders Retreat in beautiful Mount Hermon. The tall, strong, dark, and handsome guy, Hubert Ivory, is going to bring along for us the Table of Tears, a liturgical art piece I created to tell the story of the art of healing. It is a six foot wide communion table of stained glass. In worship, we will be carrying the weight of our tears, laying them on the altar, and be met by the Holy Spirit to discover a wholeness in spirit and in truth. On Tuesday night, we're gonna have a revival, a worship service where we celebrate the character and presence of the Holy Spirit. As many of you know, it was 22 years ago that I sustained a disabling head and neck injury. Haven't been able to pastor since. But I have had a business and a ministry I call Adventures in Healing. With pain too deep for words, or words inaccessible due to brain injury, I painted my prayers. And through the movement, the brushes of the Holy Spirit, God answered. I can find the answers to my prayers in the paintings themselves. A wonderful gift that we have as Christians through the Holy Spirit. On Wednesday morning, I will teach about spiritual resiliency, the four stages of living with pain, not just physical pain, but emotional pain, communal pain, institutional pain. How is it that we uphold the unspoken tears and tears in our beloved community? We will have a time set apart for personal self-expression, sacred spaces for self-care and living in spirit and in truth. For 17 years, I needed narcotics, a cane, or a wheelchair to get around. And then five years ago, through the work of the Holy Spirit and a shaman, I received an unexpected, amazing healing. I will share with you some of the personal, biblical, and even comical details of my healing. Too deep for words. Too deep for words. It embraces both the depths of suffering and the heights of joy. 